I'm not sure about this, Alyssa. That's a, a lot of blood. Yes, it is. Are you sure you want to do this? I can turn them myself if you can't resist the blood. But this is an opportunity for you to work on controlling your thirst. Um, I don't know. What if... What if I end up killing them? Like I did with the last one. You won't. I believe in you. And if you do lose control, I'll be here to stop you. Uh, okay. So much... blood. <sighs> you got this. Just bite them and don't drink. Resist. And you won't kill them. You might actually save someone for once. Here it goes. <sighs> Alright. Now that that's over, we just have to get them out of this place. I'm sorry. I know it hurts. Please try to stay calm. The pain will be over soon. Do you want to take them to my place or yours? I'll take them to my place. This is the first time I'm turning someone without killing them, and I want to be the first of our king to speak to them. When they wake up, of course. I understand. Can you come with me? Just to watch over them until I'm done feeding? Sure. I don't have any plans for tonight. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now let's hurry, before the venom sets in. Right. Oh, good. You finally come too. How are you feeling? My name is Caroline. You're in my house. I carried you here after I... we found you. Mm-hmm. Me and my friend. You're lucky to be alive. Look, I don't know how to tell you this, and you may not believe me at first, but... Well, you see... It's just... <sighs> You're not human anymore. No, you're not. And neither am I. I'm a vampire. Yes, you were about to die, so... I bit you and turned you into a vampire. As we speak, my venom is still working its way around your body, transforming every last part of you that was human into something stronger and more durable. Your speed, strength, sense, and reflexes should be fully enhanced in just a few hours. We are not the product of fiction. We exist and there's plenty of us around. Here. Feel my hand. Feel how cold hard and smooth it is. My eyes, you can see how red they are, don't you? And my fangs. See? They're not fake. I'm creeping you out, aren't I? No, you're not dreaming. This is real. I'm real. Don't worry. You're safe with me and I won't hurt you. You don't remember what happened, do you? We found you lying in a street in the pool of blood. It looked like someone had stabbed you. We knew you wouldn't make it, so I bit you and carried you to my house. Then I went back to feed while my friend watched over you. Her name is Alyssa. She's a vampire as well, and she turned me just like I turned you. I 
I know this whole thing is quite a shock to you, but it's the truth. Just out of curiosity, do you remember anything from your life as a human? Do you remember who you were? Where you born? What you were doing before the attack? Stuff like that? Hmm. It seems the transformation process affects the people's mind in different ways. Some lose their entire memory of their human lives, while others have a few memories or remember everything. I don't know why. The effects seem to vary. I suppose it just depends on the person. I knew a vampire who regained all of his memories after losing them, but I think that was just a rare case. Alyssa remembers a few things about her life as a human, but nothing about the events that led her to her transformation. I've asked her, but she never told me. She prefers to keep those memories private. My guess is that she went through something traumatic and wants the past to stay behind her. As for me... The only thing I can remember is that I was walking home one night after spending the evening with some friends when I was hit by a car. According to Alyssa, it was a hit and run. She was able to smell my blood from a mile away, which is what led her to find me. She bit me before carrying me to her house. I transformed, and Alyssa has been both my friend and mentor ever since. Alyssa's at work right now. She'll be coming here in the evening to see you. Well, yeah. We may be vampires, but we still work and live our daily lives like humans do. Our kind needs to blend in with society. We risk being exposed if we don't. No, that's just a myth. We can go out during the day. The sunlight does not burn us, and before you ask, we're not allergic to garlic. We're not affected by crosses, and we do not sparkle. <laughs> I'm a waitress just like her. We both work in the same restaurant just three blocks from here. Yeah, that's the one. You probably don't remember, but you met both of us before. We picked up your scent yesterday as we were walking and recognized it. That's how we found you. I called in sick so I could be there when you wake up. Someone had to be there to offer an explanation as to why you woken up in someone else's bed with red eyes and pale skin. Yeah, check them out. Blood red, just like mine. I'm so proud of myself, you know. Saving someone's life instead of ending it. You have no idea how hard it was for me to resist the urge to kill you. It takes a lot of self-control for a newborn like me to turn someone without giving them their thirst. Your blood was so tempting. No, this is the first time I've done something like this. Alyssa has done this seven times. I'm glad she was there to help. But most importantly, I'm glad we were there to save you. Huh? Change... back? I'm sorry, but that's not possible. The process is irreversible. Your time as a human is over. We didn't have a choice. You have lost too much blood. We couldn't just leave you to bleed to death out on the street. You should be grateful that we saved you from death and gave you another chance. A freak show? You're not a freak show. I mean, you have fangs now and your eyes are... red. You'll need to drink blood and you'll be freakishly strong. Like me. <laughs> but that doesn't make you a freak or anything. You're just... different. 
Sexier too. Of course. Have a look in the mirror if you don't believe me. Look at how your appearance has been enhanced. Your body is more defined. Your hair and skin has become more radiant. And your face, especially the eyes, are now stunning. <laughs> You're the hottest person in town. You'll be turning a lot of heads. <laughs> All you need now are some new clothes. Do you like shopping? Tell you what. When me and Alyssa have taught you on how to function as a vampire in society and you've adjusted your new abilities, we'll take you to the mall and you can get whatever you like. Mm-hmm. It's on me. <laughs> you deserve it after everything you've been through. You're gonna love being a vampire. Just stick with us and you'll be fine. Wait, is that a smile? A hug as well? Oh, you're welcome. It's great that you're accepting your new life. There are some who will be totally freaked out about becoming a vampire and try to hurt themselves. But you, you're choosing to embrace it. I'm happy you appreciate the second chance we've given you. By the way, what's your name? I forgot to ask. That's a really nice name. I think you and I are going to be great friends. And I'm sure you'll like Alyssa as well. She'll be very happy to see you. 